Hello everyone, my name is Kyle, and we are here with a new Nerd Talks video, guys. This is going to be about me part three, which is basically talking about the future. You know, what's going to be happening with this channel and everything. And guys, I just want to tell you right now that I sound tired because I basically was working. <laughs> I worked at, I had to be up at like 3 a.m. this morning, and I didn't get back until about 1 o'clock. Uh, it's 2 o'clock now. I got home, I made a video, and now I'm making another one, so... You know, I'm a, I'm a little out of it. I'm a little out of it, guys, but I realize I haven't made a video on here in forever, and I was going, you know what? We need to make a video. We need a video that transcends all other videos, and I'm going to do this half asleep, and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be an amazing experience for you. It's going to be an amazing experience for me, so let's just fucking do it. <sighs> Good coffee. What I want to talk about is what's going to be happening after college. What is going to be happening with this channel? And there are so many paths that are out before me that I have to choose. And each one of them have their pluses. Each ones have their minuses. And I have to decide what is the best option for me and how that's going to affect the channel as well. Because this has become a huge you know, thing for James and I <coughs> that we, you know, have going on and we have to take into effect, you know, where we go and what we do, you know, and we have to think about this channel as well because this is something that we built together and it's something that has become huge in our lives because we now have over 8,000 subscribers, you know, we have over 100 uh, subscribers on this channel. I want to be able to accommodate that. I want to be able to continue doing this and I want to make this known that no matter how, you know, these plans sound, we are still going to continue uploading on this channel. We're still going to continue working on this channel despite what can happen. Whether that is going to be where in the end, you know, it's only going to be a few times a week. I don't I don't know. We may be able to record more. We may be able to record less. I don't really know is the answer, but the videos will still continue to come out. They'll still be able to be put out on this channel. And I just want to make that no. So let's go ahead and go into what are the options that are ahead of me and what are ahead of James. Because obviously I make the videos, he edits them, and they get put up on Prideful Nerds. This channel is completely run by me. I edit the videos and, I, and things like that. And they get me familiar with editing because there might be a situation where at least for a year, I'll be living in one state and he'll be living here in California. Things are going to be a little turbulent for what, for about a year. But like I said, once again, we're still going to be uploading videos. It's not going to be like we're going to close down the channel because James is in one place and I'm in another and it's going to be too difficult. We'll find a way to get these videos out. I just want to make that known. So let's get into what are the possible places I can go. And we're going to start from the most likely to the least likely. So the first most likely one, you have to remember, I graduate at the end of this year. James graduates at the end of 2018, which is next year. So there's this one year gap. And James and I, as we did that Oregon trip, and it was a great trip, we are most likely moving to Oregon. Oregon is the most likely scenario. James and I both like it. We both want to live there. It's most likely going to be where we're going to be. And Oregon is a wonderful place. We're thinking about moving into the town of Salem, which is the capital of Oregon. It's a beautiful town. Awesome people. The weather is awesome. It fits us. We enjoy it. And our plan is, is we're going to live in an apartment, split the rents, and we'll be able to live and produce videos, you know. And I will be working most likely for the state of Oregon, James most likely for the state as well, and we'd work probably eight to four jobs, you know, eight to four, eight a.m. to four p.m. Not, we're not going to work eight jobs. <laughs> I know the way I made that sound, it sounded weird. So we're going to be working and we're going to be back early enough in the day to where I can still make a video, I can pump out a video, we can edit a video and things like that. So the, the uploads will not be affected. Okay, moving on. And, and most likely, we might be able to go to you know, almost everyday videos, but we'll see. And I and I'm going to talk a little bit more about the channel itself. I'm going to give a little update about that at the end of this video. So that's the most likely scenario. But the thing is, is that Oregon is not a cheap place. Okay, 
the rent is fairly expensive and as far as savings and everything goes there's there's only so much a college student a full-time college student can save from his part-time job so what is the now second most likely scenario and this I'm going to tell you right now is an 80% possibility that this is how the scenario is going to happen. I am most likely going to be moving back to Texas with my parents, okay? The state of Texas is offering me a very good job when I graduate, a full-time job, and it's something I really can't turn down. Because of that, I'm going to be in Texas and James is going to be here in California. Obviously, we're going to be living apart. So now the question is, is how am I going to get 20 gigabyte videos every time over to California to him? Uh, and we're gonna have to figure that out uh, and there's ways to do it uh, and there's probably there's probably a system that costs money you know but you know we'll figure it out but the most likely scenario is that uploads are only going to be like three or four days a week just simply because of the hassle of having to do all that because the internet where my parents live is extremely slow the way we'd have to do it is I'd have to render the video upload it to YouTube which would take all day then James is going to have to re-download it from the internet and then edit it and then put it back up. So what is going to happen is, is that most likely we will be cutting how many days a week we're going to be doing that for about a year. Okay. What's going to happen is, is that this year is going to allow me to save up a bunch of money and it's going to allow me to move to Oregon uh, when James graduates and we'll move up together and get a place uh, together in Oregon. Another possible scenario is obviously if James comes out to visit Texas and he's like, hey, this is pretty nice and we may stay there a little bit longer. I don't know. I might get my own apartment in Texas, which is, would be nice because it would allow my, uh, me to be a little more loud and a little more energetic. Um, the problem is, is that my voice is extremely loud. <laughs> So when I get, you know, really super energetic, I get extremely loud and that may piss off a few people. So I kind of want to get my own place. You know, if I'm living with just James, that's fine because James uh, doesn't care. James is used to the loud me. But whenever, um, you know, I'm with living with other people, you know, it may annoy them that I'm yelling and screaming for about an hour. So I have to kind of keep it on the down low when I make videos. and I hate having to do that. Uh, because I know I could be having a lot more fun making these videos, but I, I can't really do that, especially when I'm living as a, as a big favor from James' parents. I don't want to be too loud or in the way. I might be getting an apartment while I'm living in Texas for a year just so I can have the ability to be a little bit more energetic and a little bit more loud. Anyway, so let's go to the other places that I might be moving to just simply because these are there are offers out on the table. I actually do have an offer to move to New Zealand. I have an offer to move to Australia. I have an offer to move to the UK. And oddly enough, I have an offer in Germany. So there are multiple places that I could go, but these are, oh, and also the big one is Japan. Um, this would be the, if I moved internationally, this would be the biggest place that I probably would go to. I have an offer to be an English teacher in Japan. Um, the problem is, is that it doesn't make that much money. Um, if there is this chance where I get big on YouTube and I'm able to live on my own just off the earnings from YouTube, Japan would probably be the place I would move to. <laughs> just simply because I love Japan. Japan is a really cool place. I love it there and the culture and the people are just so freaking quirky and I love it. So that would be probably a place I would go to next to Oregon. Uh, as far as jobs go, I want to be able to work for the state. Government jobs are extremely secure. They don't demand a lot on hours and they give decent weekend days off and they give decent vacations. So I'm getting a degree that allows me to work with the government. That's what I want to do is I want to be able to work for the state and particularly whatever state I'm living in. So there are a few places that I wouldn't mind living uh, that I have thought about sending out applications to. There's the state of Maine, beautiful state beautiful state wherever you look at it, it's like a freaking painting it could be a postcard picture new york has always been one not the city but upstate new york beautiful place i love northern states and as you remember from my about me videos i love the colder regions i love cooler places places that are green that have a lot more rain you know i love things like that so whenever you know texas you know i don't like texas and i'm not going to be staying in texas i'm going to make that clear right now i will not be staying in texas I am going to be, it's a, it's a hop, skip, and a jump, okay, and it's a southern term, basically means it's just a stepping stone to something better, so I don't want to be, and I may not even be moving there, I'm going to be sending out job applications, I may get accepted at Oregon right away, and I'll just move up to Oregon right away, Oregon is where I want to be, because I wouldn't mind living in Maine or New York, uh, if I got offered a job position in, you know, upstate New York, 
you know, I would in in and in Texas, I probably would still go to Texas just simply because it's a lot cheaper. Uh, New York and the, those East Coast states are extremely expensive to live in. The winters are extremely extreme, extremely extreme. Good job, Kyle. They're very very extreme. Even worse off than than Washington and Oregon, and those are northern Pacific Northwest states. The winters get extremely cold and extremely harsh. And it's something that even I, as a lover of the cold, would even kind of go, eh, I don't know. That's really the future. It's cloudy. <laughs> and it's unforeseen. I don't know where I'm going. And, and it's a little unnerving, you know. And, and it's also exciting at the same time as in December. I, I don't know where I'm going. But I'm going to tell you all the, the most likely scenario. I'm going to sound it out again. This is most likely what is going to happen. I'm going to move to Texas for about a year, wait for James, save up a bunch of money for my full-time jobs there, and then James and I will move to Oregon. And I will enter Texas with barely anything on me, and then I will leave Texas with barely anything and then just buy a bunch of furniture and start up a life in Oregon. That's most likely what's gonna happen. Um, I will stay at my parents' house until the internet drives me nuts and I will just buy a bunch of cheap furniture and fill up an apartment and stay in there for a year and then get rid of all of it and move to Oregon again. That's really my future and I, and I just wanted to make this video talking about this because I know I, I needed to get it out. So for Nerd Talks, this is something I've been trying to think of because I don't know really what to do with it. I kind of wanted to make this as a commentary video, uh, video channel where I basically just talk about certain subjects. And with the way school is, it's just so hard to be able to manage prideful nerds, work, school, and then this channel. So this channel always falls by the wayside because obviously it's smaller. So I have to decide what I'm going to be doing with it. I'm not going to leave it. I'm not going to abandon it. It's just going to be, I want to figure out a way where I can get one video out a week. And starting today, I'm going to start doing that. But I needed to kind of think about where I want to go with it. What do I want to do with Nerd Talks? And I want you guys to think, would you like, you know, me talking about, I, I was actually thinking about talking about historical things and just nerd things, right? Talk about, I can talk about anime, and that's actually what I'm going to be talking about. That's my next video is I'm going to be talking about freaking anime, what my favorite animes are, why I think they're that way, and I'm going to come out with those. And, you know, I can continue talking about, like, I want to actually maybe talk about cultural things. You know, like, you know, the cultural things of China, Japan, Denmark. You know, there's many things, guys, that I want to talk about. And I think that's what it's going to be. I'm just going to start talking. I'm going to pick a subject, and I'm just going to hit the record button, and I'm just going to start talking. Who holds barred, and I'm just going to throw them up here, and what you guys think of, you know, whatever sticks, sticks. If you guys like the cultural things, I'm going to keep going with the cultural things. If you guys like the anime topics, I'm going to keep up with the anime topics. There's This channel is a blank slate, and that's what I love about this idea. And I can just just talk. You know, I'm not playing games. Nerd Talks is going to be the place where I just kind of let loose and do whatever. You know, the sky's the limit. So, I want to keep it that way. So, anyway guys, um, that is it. I hope you guys have a good one. And remember to comment below. Do you like some of those ideas? Do you like anime subjects? You know, talking about cultural things, historical things, current events? I don't know. <laughs> Leave some ideas down below. And I will see you all in the next video that I make, which is going to be my top 10 favorite animes. See ya.